Hey there, and welcome back to another J-pop journal with me episode. Today's episode will be focusing on Japanese singer, actress, model, and former idol Suzuki Aidi in celebration of her 29th birthday today on April 12th. For those of you unfamiliar with Irie, she was a member of the Hello Project idol groups Kito from 2006 and Bono from 2007, being active in both groups concurrently until their individual disbandments in May and June of 2017. She was a member of several smaller units during this time period as well, but they were often one-offs, so we're not going to get into those. After taking a year off, she debuted as a soloist in 2018 and recently has been expanding her horizons as an actress and cosmetics producer. She doesn't release music super often anymore and I gotta be honest, I still haven't properly listened to her third album after I did an album unboxing video for it over a year ago. None of the songs released prior to the album excited me. I talked about this quite a bit in that video, so check that out if you're interested in my thoughts on that. I still love Irie and closely follow her activities and everything she does. If you follow my channel enough, you'll see her pop up a lot as she's one of my most favorite people in the world and I've been a fan of her since I was 11 and she would have been about 13 or so. Pretty crazy how time flies. Celebrating her 29th birthday feels sort of weird because it feels like just yesterday I was celebrating her 15th. <laughs> Anyway, to get to the journaling part of this, to start off this spread, I chose these pretty photos taken of her quite a few years back, maybe 2018 or 2019, as the base to build off of. I originally planned to have white borders around the edges of this because I liked that look, but it seems I printed it a bit too large to have space for that, so at least the large image had to be cut down to the edges of the photo so that it would fit. Because Irie's birthday is in April, which is a month largely associated with cherry blossoms and the color pink, I decided to include these pretty cherry blossom roll stickers. Every time I grab these, I always wonder why I don't use them more often because they are so pretty, but then I place them down and remember it's because they seriously suck. <laughs> They're not super sticky, so they kind of start lifting almost immediately, and there's basically nothing you can do to fix that. I tried glue to help keep them down, as you'll see near the end, but even that just doesn't work at all. I can't remember where I bought them. It was either Kawaii Pen Shop or Notebook Therapy before they started producing their own products and phased out stocking other brands which, by the way, this notebook I'm using is from there. But honestly, I wouldn't recommend these. Gotta find a replacement that's better quality once these ones are used up because I really do like them. If anyone can recommend some to me, or if you've got the same ones and have found a way to make them stick down properly, I'd be grateful if you'd let me know in the comments. Anyway, I put a row of them at the top and bottom of the page to fill out that weird white space, and then moved over to the right page and started decorating it with cherry blossoms as well, making sure some of them were peeking out from under the pictures as well as being on top of them to give it some variety. I could have just left it there really, but I wanted to add some spice. <laughs> I was really drawn to these tags I have, but the large one felt too large, so I went with the smaller size and then played around with different things for a while to figure out how to spruce it up in a way that looked nice with the rest of the spread. As I went along, I figured out a few things. I definitely wanted something that marked it was a birthday spread, and then I knew I wanted color, as without it the tag seemed too boring and didn't blend well with the colors of the spread. Patterned paper felt like too much, so solid color was best. I just had such a hard time deciding between orange and this burnt red color. After going back and forth about it for ages, I decided to move on and add some other details in to see which color went well with the other elements I wanted to add in, like the date written here in the same color and on the same paper type as the happy birthday message to tie in more of that brown paper element into the spread. I couldn't decide where to put it, but it did help me make a choice on committing to the red paper. I 
I grabbed more of that brown paper to create a spot for her name and then spent some time figuring out how I wanted these three elements displayed. Honestly, I think they would have looked great no matter how they were placed, but that's what made the decisions so hard to make. Once I knew I liked this layout with the tag and date on the right page and the name on the left and chose a tab design over a ripped piece for that red piece of paper, I then had to choose whether I wanted the name placed on the top half or bottom half of the page. Again, either would have worked fine, but it was a tough decision that took more time than I'd like to admit. I thought it would be better placed at the bottom to balance out that red that's at the top of the page. The tag, the date, and the red in the left image are all on the top half of the spread, making it very top heavy, and I needed to balance that out. To secure the tag, I'm using just a basic gold paper clip, but figured I'd change out the string to something that matched better while I was at it. I tested each of them out and was again torn between a few different options, but narrowed it down to either a brighter red orange or a more muted red orange. The muted one matched the red paper better, so I ultimately went with that. I didn't love the little pocket idea, so I changed it out to mirror that little tab design on the right by doing the same thing with the tag, except it's the brown paper that creates the tab look instead of the red paper underneath. And that's it for this spread! I really loved the combination of complementary colors in the background, the green and orange red, and the pink tones featured in the cherry blossoms and Iris' outfit. It all blends together so beautifully and is so nice on the eyes, I could seriously look at the colors of this spread all day. ID is of course beautiful as well, <laughs> but I gotta give props to the photographer as this was definitely not an accident to have those colors together in this photo shoot. It created a great base for this spread. I'm happy I went with choosing the pink cherry blossoms for the main accent color rather than than adding more red, as I think that would have been a little bit overwhelming. Happy birthday to the great Suzuki Aidi! Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again in another J-pop journal video next month.